I do enjoy sweets though. This looks so good. Good morning. It's Monday, 10, 10 a.m. right now. I'm starting a new what I eat in a week. If this is your first time on my channel, my name's Emily. Welcome. I have just made myself a blueberry latte. I swear it was a whole lot prettier before I mixed it. Now it's looking a little gray. And then here is my breakfast plate. I went a little overboard this morning. I have two eggs over medium with some flaky sea salt, black pepper, half an avocado, chicken sausage, and a slice of toast. starch slurry mixture one teaspoon cornstarch two teaspoons water and then I'm gonna pour this in between the pot stickers I think I need way more okay all together now this is two teaspoons cornstarch and four teaspoons water I've actually never made this before, so. Okay, it's on medium-high heat. I'm gonna wait until it gets crispy. Okay. Um, I think it's burning. Very gently, I'm going to cover it with a plate. Okay, I'm scared. One, two, three. It's a little bit burnt, but that's okay. Right, I'm actually gonna move this onto a different plate because I feel like it'd be prettier. Okonomi sauce. For some reason, Naruto is on the bottle. QB mayo, a staple in this household. Red pickled ginger, dried bonito flakes, and green onions. Okay, I'm gonna try it. 
Okay, the shrimp is definitely way overcooked. Also, I only have these clear noodles at home right now, so that's what I used. But I feel like I always see this dish with like yellow egg noodles. Good morning, 9 a.m. right now. I am making Turkish eggs for breakfast. A cup of plain Greek yogurt, a clove of garlic. I'm supposed to grate this and put in here, but I'm gonna mince it instead because it's less work. A little bit of lemon juice. Oh, and then salt and pepper. I'm gonna poach two eggs and then I need to make the spicy butter pepper sauce and then toast some bread. I'm still waiting for the water to boil, but I just made myself a cup of coffee. I've been adding honey and cinnamon and it's really good. Here is lunch. I made a salmon rice bowl. There is brown rice for the base, red onions, jalapeno slices, cilantro, green onions, sesame seeds on top. This is like a repeat meal that I make pretty often just because it's so easy. I prepped everything I needed to make mango bingsu. I'll get started on that soon as a after lunch dessert.
excitement. I haven't been this excited over something I've made in a while. This looks so good. I love it. And the mangoes are so sweet too. Yesterday, I ended up letting myself nap at 6 p.m. and I woke up at midnight, scrolled on my phone for an hour, went back to sleep, and I woke up at 9 a.m. So I skipped dinner, but I did get much needed rest. Breakfast this morning, I just wanted something like warm and cozy. I have a sweet potato and then also a iced Americano. everything into one pot because I don't really feel like washing more dishes than I need to today. I'm going to do some heavy whipping cream and then some Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago cheese. And then salt, pepper, and pesto. lunch creamy pesto pasta some crispy chicken and arugula on the side the chicken is actually really dry snack right now some strawberry yogurt chocolate frozen chocolate covered strawberry yogurt clusters <laughs> some plain non-fat Greek yogurt this. 
sometimes I get comments and people would be like, where are the snacks? Or like, what am I eating in between meals? Honestly, I just don't feel hungry or have the desire to snack throughout my day most of the time. But if I do, it's usually something sweet. I'd have fruit or chocolate. In this case, it's both. But I've talked about before how growing up, my parents like never bought us junk food. We like never had chips or soda in the house. And if we did, it'd be like healthy versions of that. Sometimes they buy us like veggie straws. So as an adult now, I just don't ever really crave any of that. And not that I don't ever have chips or soda. Um, I just don't ever buy it for myself. If I do have it, it'd mostly be at a party or a gathering and just like not part of my daily diet. I do enjoy sweets though. Tonight, I went to have dinner with my extended family, got to see my grandma, and we just had a hot pot at home. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. right now, and I'm still so full. Just made myself a cup of tea. Almost every day, I have a cup of coffee in the morning and a cup of tea at night and i usually have green tea this is dragon well um that's it for today i think i'm gonna watch an episode of gray's anatomy finish my tea and then go to bed here is a partial list of chemicals that our bodies produce when we're falling in love okay let's get our toothbrush bit by minutes I really wanted like bread this morning or some carbs, but I don't have that. I need to go grocery shopping. Second option, boiled eggs, half an avocado, and some strawberries. These look amazing actually. the fridge these are the ingredients I'm gonna make a bibimbap some arugula every time I buy this it ends up going bad before I can finish it I'm determined to eat all of this some bean sprouts a carrot leftover brown rice gochujang and a can of tuna
All right. Um, bibimbap, kind of inspired by, obviously, by no means authentic. This is just what I threw together in 15 minutes. And then I also have a Yakult. It's almost 4.30, actually, right now. Very late to lunch. Snacking on a peach. That's been the week. It's Friday evening right now. I promise I will be filming more of these videos. There will be more what I eat in a week's. It just takes a lot more time to film and edit than the what I eat in a day's. But thank you so much for being patient with me as I'm creating new content. I hope you like the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!